Oh my god, he's gonna fucking kill me. Hey guys, welcome back to a new episode of Wrap. If we're gonna do it, I'd like to ask you all to please leave a subscribe. Also, leave your comments for me down in the comments below. In addition to the description, what is links to my Twitter, Twitch, and Discord. Twitter for updates on videos and live streams when they happen. Twitch for live streams when they happen. And Discord just to hang out and chat with me and community. And now that that's done, I want to get into what we plan to do today, which is exploring this new location that we kind of tried to explore last time and I couldn't figure it out. Not gonna lie, I did a little bit of research because I was very confused. And I think I figured out what we need to do. So I'm gonna go where I think we need to go to and try and see what we can do. So, a couple things I didn't understand originally. So I knew there was a spotlight that was moving around. What I didn't understand what that spotlight is, that's how you get the jellyfish to move out of the way. And this broken spotlight shines on these, so you can't go in that tunnel until you get that spotlight fixed, which to fix the spotlight you need spotlight parts, which we don't have currently. Nope, I fucked up. Okay, so you gotta wait until the spotlight shines on them. Come on. Laguna Point has all too many holes in it. It makes it easy to move unnoticed. Today, I oh, shit. Yesterday, I took some dried meat from a pond. I'm gonna side. die. It's less fun taking food since it spoils eventually. The watch I got from a loudmouth gorilla was way more exciting. Ah, I want to grab something even better than that. So we're having so many issues, our water bottle thing broke. We kind of need to go to the surface, build a new bottle, and then go back down because I'm fairly certain if we try to do it without one of those bottles, we're probably not going to be able to make it to whatever the next bubble spot is inside the building. Because you got to explore quite a bit of the uh, inside of the building to get what you need. We need to swim for the boat and hope we're not get bitten by a shark on the way. Which is a 50-50 sometimes. Nope. There we go. Do we have any food that's already cooked? Oh, I have shark meat. To cook. Okay. I need to get... What does the bottle thing require? I need vine goo, an empty bottle, which empty bottle requires... Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I need nine vines. I have eight vines. But I have some vines right here. I have one. And there's four vines here. Okay, I have enough. A ton of hooks. They used to be back when I was first playing this game, like a really hard resource to get a hook. I also found out you can get um, a wind turbine blueprint here, which would be very nice. So we can finally move on from having to just throw wooden piece things and stuff. 
Actually, no, I don't think that changes what you can do with those ones. I didn't think about that. Let's fish up some fish while we wait on our big fish to cook. And also our vine goo, which is done. Three, we need four to make the bottle. It's really kind of BS that the bottles um, break so quickly for the amount of resources that go into them. That's some one thing I feel like this game sometimes gets a little wrong is that some of the some of the tools break a little too quickly for the amount of resources they cost. At least Vangu makes much quicker than it used to. I'm going to make one of these as well because I feel like we need a headlamp for this exploration because I feel like we're going to run into a lot of areas that have stuff that we're not going to be able to do. I need to put this back because we're not going to use that if we're going to use the headlamp. We'll wait to put the headlamp on though until we're in a place where it's actually useful. So actually, it, it was kind of a waste to do what I did by um, exploring these areas, although I got a little bit of resources out of them. You can't actually get the the um, the majority of the stuff out of them until you've already uh, finished this place, which what I didn't know about this place is that it has a boss fight kind of understand how you're supposed to do it, so at least it's not going to be like a surprise to me when we get there. But I didn't know there was a boss fight, so still kind of like, what? Put tilapia on the grill. We're gonna need more. We need to get moving on this or else we're gonna run out of our tools before we actually get the stuff done. Because we do not have much more, enough to make another set of, uh, I really don't wanna have to leave this place and come back either. We don't have enough stuff to make another set of flippers is what I was trying to say. Okay, so there's another bottle. Hydrate up and fill my thing with water. Leave the uncooked food. Oh, that's the seed bin. Leave the. Where do I? I guess it just goes in there. Um, okay, there we go. And I was going to continue to use baits on the shark, but it doesn't seem useful. Oh my god, he's going to fucking kill me. I don't think he's gone away now. I 
have no choice but to lose two-thirds of my inventory. That was bullshit. Okay, I kept that, I kept the bottle, but the bottle got damaged. Kept, like, none of my fucking arrows, all my food's gone. This is great. I just love this game when it does this shit. Well, I guess I'm cooking up this shark. And also, I lost a bunch of water out of my bottles for some reason. And took a bunch of damage on my tool. Fuck off, you bitch. Shark's just a pain in my ass. And I lost my fishing rod, so I can't even catch another shark. Um, not another shark. <laughs> can't catch any more fish. So I gotta make a new fishing rod. I kept that tool in my backpack at least, I guess. That's good. Need one of those again. I'm not gonna take another one of those with me. Arrows. We need to make more arrows. Do we have the stuff to make more arrows? Maybe, maybe not. Do we have the stuff to make one of these? Definitely. Oops. Sorry if I'm getting a little agitated, but this is this kind of stuff is infuriating in this game. When you spend like hours getting resources together and you die, and then it's like, well, I guess you lose everything you just had on you, and uh, yeah, you're just screwed. Good luck. Good luck making up for all the stuff you just lost. You're not going to be able to. I think I just need to kill the shark. I think that's the move. We need to make a shit ton of arrows. We need to kill the shark. I guess we're getting some good food at the moment. He is. In thinking about it, last time we went down there, I think he was dead when we went down there, so he didn't follow us. But I think... So, the pathing of it may have changed. It used to be that... He would not come after you past a certain distance away from your boat. But that may not no longer be the complete case. It may be a case where it's like... He won't come after you past a certain distance from your boat if you've done X, Y, and Z thing. Also, I think I lost one of my bows. I had two. Yeah, and I had both of them on me. Crap. And we don't have the stuff to make another bow, do we? He's with Vine Goo. We have enough stuff to make another bow, but I don't really want to have to. So let's grab wood, plastic, and stoner in here. Okay, so that's more than a stack. Not lose scrap. Okay, let's get these fish cooked up. Should probably do some more fishing, and we should definitely leave our fishing rod on the boat and not take as much stuff with us because I have a feeling that might happen again. We well, should probably, um, dang, another catfish. We're getting all the catfish. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'd say we're catfishing. If you wanted to be very annoying. Okay. Need to make another bow just so we have it in case, because I think the bows break pretty quickly, if I'm remembering correctly. I have two catfish worth of food. I think we should be okay with that for our first exploration. I mean, if I could, I would try and catch enough stuff to make a shark bait and then not have to worry about the shark, but I feel like that's not an option at this point. Oh, there's a mackerel. That's the first thing we need for a shark bait. We can get another one of those, or a pomfret, I think is the other one. We can make a bait. But then we need to make sure he attacks the bait before we... Oh, there's two mackerels. It's mackerels, isn't it? Or am I just misunderstanding? Uh, it's 
see here. No, nope, it's herring. Crap. I thought that was it. There's a salmon. Ooh, nice bit of salmon. Sounds good. You really need to attack my boat. You've already taken all my crap. Don't even know where the hell you put it. Now you're attacking my boat. This man. This man and his need to attack my boat. Just uncalled for. The other problem is like two attacks and he's got me down to like one health. And he can kind of clip through things, so I don't even know. I, I was thinking maybe if I go inside the building, it's going to like prevent it. But I don't even think that would work. Why the heck did I... Oh, because I went in water technically. Mackerel on the grill. Okay, let's see if we have the stuff to make another bow. Rope and wood, we can definitely get. Wood. Rope. Craft. Okay. Wood. Rope. That's not it. Plastic. And then put this nice bit of salmon away for me for later. And I'm going to put the fishing pole in here too, just so that it's not with us. In case we die again. I really don't like the idea of getting back in the water. This game will give you a th 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 Is that the fear of sharks? Or not fear of sharks, sorry. Fear, fear of fish. Where's he at? i fucking shoot you. I don't hear you. Where the hell did you go? Where are you at? I know you're gonna come for me. Bubbles. Bubbles. Food. Food and bubbles. I think we're safe in here, maybe? Just knocking on some wood real quick. Hopefully my desk is made of real wood. Okay, this guy looks dangerous as shit. And fast, as well. It's okay. Ooh, I can put it on. Nice. I was worried I couldn't put it on because it didn't. There's a spotlight part. Anything else in here? Nothing interesting. Something's hitting the building. I hope that's not a bad thing. I mean, it, it is a bad thing. But. Ooh. Get inside some weird little thing. Is there anything in here? It's gonna be a lurker. 
actually doesn't look like there's anything in here. This is really boring. Why put it in if you're not going to put anything inside it? Shoot you. In here, because I'm going to run out of air. You're a little right bastard, aren't you? Listen, is he giving us vine? They're giving us vine goo. Ooh, that's nice. So eventually we can use it to make another water bottle because we've already lost our water bottle. Because these water bottles die in like two seconds. Or not water bottles, or air bottle, whatever. Anything in the bathroom? Nothing in the bathroom. Food ahead. Light bits. Back to our air bubble. No, 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 no. There we go. Found two spotlight bits. That'll be a third, right? Any doors in this room? No doors. I don't see anything else in here either. Let's fill up on air. Sit in our nice little bubble, calm ourselves down from the craziness that just happened. Oh, all these lead up. Okay, I didn't realize all the ones with air led up into something. Maybe there's something in here I'm missing. Oh, yes, there's a lot of stuff in here I missed. It's just that one I went through had nothing. Okay, so that makes sense. So even if it doesn't have bubbles, these things are our, our air, at least in this level. I don't know if that'll be the case deeper down, because I'm imagining we're going deeper. We need another spotlight part. Which we've yet to find. There's an elevator. Or maybe it's in here. Doesn't look like it's in here. Into the water we go. Can I go up into yep. Is there a thingy here? I don't see a thingy. At least not yet. Okay, this is surface level. Getting a lot of resources out of it. There's definitely gonna be lurkers. Food, get food, we got resources. Where are my lurkers at? Like on Twitch. I think that's all the spotlight parts. So we continue to explore. This has gotta be resources to grab. And considering how many resources we've wasted just getting to this point, we need to get as many resources out of this as possible. No lurker yet. I know there was lurkers on the surface, so there's definitely lurkers at the place. They've infested everything. Damn big rats. Let's eat this first because this is crap food. Uh, where are my lurkers at? Nothing. We actually made progress today. Guys, we finally did something. Didn't just fumble around like doofuses for a change. Okay, down. So then we need to go fix the spotlight. Oh, go up in here for a moment. Till the light is it not on. Okay, out to my spot. Oh, that's not my spotlight that I need to fix. Where is the spot? That's down here. Fix it. Fix it. Four spotlight parts. What the hell? Come on, guys, move out of the way. There we go. 
think I tried to do that last time and I messed it up. So I just assumed it didn't work. Which is kind of a stupid assumption, but you know. Okay, so there's another spotlight part somewhere I'm missing. So either I missed a room or I didn't look in a corner or any number of other things. Good method. Okay. Nothing in here. Got everything that was in here. Unless there's a spotlight part somewhere that I'm not seeing. Nope, there's resources, but no spotlight part. We're missing one spotlight part. Where the heck is it? What's funniest about all this these new things is I used to think that um Tangoro was like absurdly big and really hard. Like when I played it on, I played this game a long time ago before this last update came out on stream. <laughs> I used to think that this was like a, or not this, the the Tangora was like possible. And now I'm doing this and I'm like, this is impossible. So I'm guessing when I get to the next one, I'll be like, this is impossible. And then they'll find a way to make it harder. I did see, however, kind of in glancing, at some of the stuff that you can get from some of these newer places that there is a uh, is there nothing in this um, there is like a windmill that I can use and I'm assuming if I get that in the charger I can charge up all my batteries and then never have to make new batteries which would be very nice I'm not seeing another piece Am I blind? Ah, don't answer that question. It's gotta be upstairs then. And I'm probably not gonna find it before the end of the episode, right? Yeah, I doubt it. Oh, there's stuff up here. There's rooms I didn't look in. Okay, there's a thing, so that's probably the way. My, I'm full health, okay, I'm good. Come on, motherfucker. I see, oh, come on. Swim at me, you bastard. There's probably a better way to fight these things that I don't know. I think you're supposed to, like, stun lock them and prevent their strike animation. Oh, crap. Up, 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 up. I just killed myself again. This place is dangerous as shit. Is there another one in here? Nope. Doesn't look like it. But I do not see a spotlight bit. I see food. To keep me nice and full. Oh, I got an anglerfish head. Nice. How did I take the... Oh, did I get this from something? I think I got the oxygen bottle or something. That's also nice. When the, they give you kind of the thing. You need. There's grass in the bathtub. So maybe it's up here. It's not in those boxes. I don't see anything else. Must be somewhere else and I must be blind. So no one had to tell me it because it's true. I am blind. With all these TVs we keep seeing, I'm surprised we haven't found a TV blueprint so we can watch some... Oh, wait, since it's the end of the world, there's nothing to watch. Reruns of something, maybe? there. This door open? Nope, doesn't look like it. This door opens though, and there's probably an angler in here. No, there's not. Oh, there it is though. Get some air. There should be some resources up here, right? No, I don't see anything. And... I heard them talking about me this morning. They call me the grabber. Oh shit. It's growing on me. I moved my cash. It's higher up now. On the new floor, right under their noses. The foreman complained about the lack of cameras. <laughs> like that would matter. I wouldn't get caught even if the walls had eyes. I'm starting to get good at this. So that's the new character for this zone. I need to go back up and get air. 
and we're almost out of time so i think we're going to leave it off here probably so let's just quickly explore this last little bit and then we'll head out or we'll end the episode and next episode we will get into get into the next steps which involve repairing the repairing a um, spotlight and then heading down into a deeper level where there's a boss, which is probably going to kill me. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Sorry for a little bit of extra anger. It's a little bit rough. This episode was a little hard to get through all this stuff. But we did it, and now we're moving on. Never to uh, have to deal with this little bit of the game again, hopefully. <laughs> so, hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you did, and have a good day, guys.